I want to give people a choice. I know, but winning the election also in involves money. How will you be able yeah. to raise the funds? Uh, or do you, have, uh, do you plan to disclose the sources of your funds? And yeah, how you definitely. Uh, be totally transparent. I've been saying to the press that I will spend only two million of my own personal funds. Okay. Uh, and if we accept money, we will report the amounts of money that we are receiving. Is there a fundraising going on right now? Yeah, we did some fundraising the past uh, two events. We raised uh, over 120,000 from small, we're approaching small, uh, small donors. And uh, we're open to other bigger contributions, but uh, with the condition that this is not a contribution for me, but a contribution to a vision of the Philippines. So that when I get elected, there's no personal debt. Well, what's the party that you will be running? Uh, uh, name the party. Running as an independent. Ah, so there's no party. Although we found uh, a national created a new party, it's called Pangmasa. Oh, Pangmasa. Okay. Uh, Partido ng Marangal na Sampayanan. It's right now it's called elect it's being mm, um, um, to be certified or not. So we we don't know because we're not giving anything. Okay. <laughs> totally. Um, so, um, yeah, because that's one of the issues um, we're concentrating on Blog Watch is also the campaign finance because yes. it has never been followed right. or complied by the past candidates. Yes. So, um, I'm glad that you're also going to be open about it, disclosure. Open about it, and uh, for the supporters, I'm already making reports of what we're doing with their money. <laughs> because, you know, it's important to elect a leader that is transparent and, you know. Yeah, it's properly possible. Yes. So, I, that's why... Uh, being not in politics, although not ignorant of politics, mm -hmm. is an advantage mm -hmm. in my case mm -hmm. because I don't have any ties to the power structure. So I can challenge the power structure. Um, the, the, the challenge right now is uh, the, there are some popular candidates. So how do you intend to challenge yourself? No, uh, some of these popular candidates are going to be only in the short term. Uh, I think when people start knowing who they really are, what they stand for, uh, I think uh, their popularity will change, mm -hmm. especially when the presidential debates uh, start to happen in mainstream media. Uh, all the mainstream media are planning presidential debates. That's good because uh, we want to focus on platforms and issues. Exactly. The, the presidential yeah. candidates. Because at least now, it's, you're, it's clear that you have a platform, yeah. which I haven't seen in the others yet. Yeah. In the blogosphere, yeah. uh, it's doing a great job educating. Yeah. I think it's really important that this election be one of the most conscious and discerning elections we will ever have. Yes. That's what we want to do. Yes, and exactly. um, we can start with the youth. Uh, I believe that uh, yeah. we cannot change this in some ways, but we can start with the youth and then they can go s yeah. the process, maybe it will change. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I think we can never underestimate. Filipinos are known to uh, swell mm -hmm. or to swarm yes. at the last minute. Totally yeah, that's one reason so, I also say please do not uh, rely on survey results. That no, we still have to uh, talk to their five them. months away, five and a half months away, still too far away. Right. Yeah. But, uh, yes, the campaign period starts February nine. Did February. you file already your candidacy? I'm filing in a few days. Ah, okay. We're yeah. looking forward to that. Yes. Will you have a TV ad? Uh, maybe a few. Yeah. Uh, in not February. Yeah. Not, not now. Yeah, you'll get discount anyway by then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for okay, so yeah, us. So, um, yeah, we'll be writing about this in my okay, Do you have a card? Yes, I'll give it to you. Thank okay, you. So